this dude. She can't run. Oh she god, this is this is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge. She's got go, it back to it. She's go, she's missed go, it. Go Neil, go Neil, go. Go Neil, go Neil, go Neil. Get him, Buster! Get him! Where are you going, Mr. Noobs? <laughs> what is up, you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing wonderfully well. I'm doing a mini little vlog. I am currently sitting on two vlogs. I'm gonna eventually get round to editing, but I just thought, I sort of sat down here. I'm currently, I've just been to the hardware store, got all this sisal, seesaw. Is it sisal, seesaw? I don't know, seesaw sisal rope. And I'm finishing off a little cat toy. Some old bit of wood that was laying around the house. Some MDF, old carpet making an awesome scratch pole. They love it. And then the tree behind me, they love the tree. That's almost finished. I just want to put some more of the sisal, sisal rope on the top there. The little guys are just loving this space. I mean, this space is pretty much theirs because as you can probably tell, it is a bit of a mess. There's not real, <laughs> we don't really live here in this portion of the house. Um, you know, we've got some insulation there, we've got the tools, we got Mr. Buster over there, and then we've got Mr. Nibs playing on his tree. So it is a bit of, bit of a mess, but it is a productive mess. Anyway, yeah, I, I just thought I'd just turn the camera on, have a quick little, quick, a wee chat, a wee little chat with you laddies, you fellas, you, you people. Um, let, me, let me show you this. I've been working on me and Mika. We have Mika's brother coming over with his two little girls, wife, family, the little tribe popping over on Friday for the Easter holiday period thing. And I was like, we, what, let's move in the house. Mika's mom was around a few weeks ago and she got to stay in the house for the first time. And I was a little bit jealous because I was just excited about us being the first people. But anyway, she tested it out, worked out great. Love doing that, in, out, ooh. And I thought, let's move in the house. There's nothing wrong with the, the, this room here. So I've been busy painting this room. What do you think of it? We went for this really dark color because um, we want it to feel like a little cave. Not much of a wide angle there, but you know, it looks pretty cool. We're gonna take off the, uh, the paint on, on the wood there around the, the window frame, make it more, get, get the wood out, wo a wood effect, or just this wood, I guess it's not an effect. Anyway, and then I like painted the ceiling, looks really nice, but I really like this color. I did go out and get another tin just to put on a second coat, which I was supposed to do, but which leads me into what I've been up to today. Oh, distractions. Buster loved this bit, he loves this tree whilst he's, what are you doing mate? Look at him, he's a little monster. Buster man. Mr. Man. Anyway, cats, cats will do that. So yeah, so today has been quite a, a productive day in the office, which I've now decided to put the couch in over here, which is really good, me and Mika pull it up watch movies, that sort of stuff. We're watching Better Call Soul lately, really good little um, spin-off series from Breaking Bad, loving it. So yeah, I've been in, in a non-stop nail office, been really productive with sending applications for a few jobs and sort of filing and also, also finally attacking some of the de facto visa stuff that I have to do. There's just endless amounts of crazy, ridiculous forms that require like 10 year travel history, 10 year work history, 10 year, 10 year everything. Um, because I've been quite a, the active non-stop traveler since, well, probably 2003, when I went to summer camp and it just snowboarded from there, got the travel bug. It's quite tricky with dates and stuff, so it's been it's been interesting. But anyway, smashed that out, uh, figured out how to actually photocopy and passports, driver license, all that good stuff onto there. So I did that. 
Uh, waiting to hear back from this possible circus tour. They're still in touch with me. They're sort of waiting and they're getting down to the final stages of casting, which is good because it, it seems like a really cool, awesome tour. It will be a really cool, awesome tour to be part of. Cats are, okay, now Buster has, yep, there you go, Buster. What have you caught, mate? You caught a plastic bag? They're getting very cat-like about this time of the day. Buster will just grab something and then Mr. Nibs will just watch him. What are you doing, fella? Is that good, Buster? <laughs> Little rascal. Love these guys. <laughs> so yeah, excited about this circus thing. And yeah, I've just, I've just applied for a job as a tunnel instructor for indoor skydiving. They are towards the final, putting on the final preparations of a new tunnel that will be opening next to the Bounce trampoline facility in Essendon, which is very close to Melbourne, sort of in between Clunes and Melbourne. And yeah, part of the training they send you off to the USA, the USA America, uh, for 12 weeks training of body flight indoor skydiving. So seems like a really cool, fun opportunity, which I've, I've thought about doing, yeah, back in the UK and stuff. But anyway, that, that's what I've been doing today, really. I've been pretty busy inside. I had a nice workout, getting back on the body weight training. And I've, I've, yeah, I've gotten quite weak from this injury. Didn't realize how much it has knocked me back. I went to Melbourne the other day to do a little recce mission on the show that I'm doing on Friday. I was going to pause it here quickly because it's flashing and I'm not sure what that means. So, two seconds. So as you can see, I'm using my massive, giant vlogging setup that I was really excited about when I first got it. And then I got it damaged in the rain. So apparently after about seven minutes of chatting, chit chat, it decides it wants to pause for some reason. And I don't really use this that much, but I do like it. The quality's nice. Anyway, so it's just sort of a general check-in. I have really been enjoying sort of my time off and allowing myself to have some time off from the daily vlogs. I do miss it. I do miss, it is so strange going out of the house without taking my all my cameras and GoPros and setting up time lapses and filming stuff. But it has been a really welcoming rest and I've been able to really focus, focus on things that I really need to get on with like this visa situation and applying for some, you know, certain work and also planning my trip back to England. I have a flight coming up that I changed back in January to 1st of May and if all goes well uh, and I don't get any more employment with this Jurassic World exhibition and it looks like I'll be coming home which is great I'm excited about that going back to England see the family and friends in May time for about a month ish Mika will probably end up staying here because she has sort of a permanent position at the exhibition Anyway, that's it. I mean, does that is that good? Do you, I mean, it's just a little insight into my my daily life at the moment. Yeah, it's good. I've uh, yeah been getting on with a lot of stuff, feeling a lot more positive and a lot happier. And I'm excited. Give me a few days. I'm going to get on some edits. I've got some ideas for some of the non-stop raw videos that I posted two episodes of. Got a really good one coming up. Um, I'm going to uh, Tokyo robot, robot Show. It is insane. I've been holding on to this footage for the longest time. And Mr. Nibs. <laughs> longest time. So I'm excited to uh, share that with you guys. But I hope you guys are well. And you don't miss me too much. But I will be back on the daily vlogs soon-ish. I have a few more things to sort out. And once that's done, I will be back on it. Because Mika has started her, her work now, so she just works Monday through to Wednesday, and then she has the entire week off so we can spend good quality time together. 
see how it was before she was, it was just mayhem mental so I really wanted to wait up and spend some time with as much time with her as, as I possibly could before she has to go back to Melbourne anyway I'm talking really fast thank you for watching thank you for tuning in please stay tuned I am going to come at you with some more daily vloggage very shortly I'm happy hope you're happy stay positive stay fresh and happy just happy man just happy vibes if you're feeling sad just be happy you have the choice honestly guys thank you so much for tuning in as always remember live laugh and love until next time I'm gonna edit a video tonight it should be up after this till next time oh almost forgot the whole the whole thing about this so I did a video for that Hamish and Andy the other day and they posted it on their Facebook page and get this you might have already seen it from my non-stop Neil Facebook page if you want to join me there I post photographs and other little things throughout the day if you look at this look at this how crazy is this so this is a video and it's just gone mental look at 3.6 million views it went viral and so it should have because those guys did an excellent job at filming it and I can honestly say all those reactions, there's four people, every single one of those was completely genuine reactions. It wasn't, the only set it was, he called them down and they had no idea what they were coming down for. Each person had a genuine act. What are you doing, Mr. Nibs? This is why we call him Mr. Nibs, because he just nibbles. Hey mate, he wants attention. Yeah, so go check that out. I'll, I'll link it somewhere here. It's really, thanks Mr. Nibs, high five. Yeah, go check it out, really happy with that. And, oh yeah, I'm going. Right guys, live a life of love, take it easy. Pieces. So let bust um, Mr. Nibs. See you guys. Peace. <laughs>